top up time, Rose Hill, weather fine track good. Good morning, Glenn Pollitt. Yeah, too good, Mark Lambourne. And you said that that track might miss the rain, and it did. Well, the rain hardly came. Uh, where you are, but uh, Canterbury got 35 mils. Oh. So uh, we're obviously not racing at Canterbury. We're racing at Rose Hill down south. Yeah, there is Mooney Valley. It's the all-star mile. What a ragged race it is. But we'll get to that at the end of uh, a top-up of Rose Hill. Um, so, look, I guess... Uh, we've seen a lot of true ra uh, rails going back to true at Rose Hill where the track is dry and the inside's been some advantage. Today might be different because they seem to leave the grass very long for the first of the three days, create some resistance. Um, and traditionally, we've come into this meeting getting quite excited about the prospect of horses coming off the pace. Obviously, we've also traditionally come into this meeting looking at wet tracks uh, which we haven't got today, and does, you know, will be a, 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 a point of great interest uh, coming into Colette's race. Um, all right, so let's kick off with uh, race one, where uh, 11,000 matched on Great House at the moment. Um, and I thought there would be some resistance to this horse because, of course, he didn't win the race the other day. He did and didn't even run second. Mm. Um, so that's, and the race that he won here, two starts back, was run. Uh, at breakneck speed. So um, this race has also lost some of its speed. Uh, Dylan's Romance, the lure has come out, um, which should enable Toscanini to get across, sit outside get across bit. the bride. Yeah. Uh, or, or, you know, maybe get some sort of slipstream off Kiss the Bride. Uh, so look, interesting race. Uh, Blinkers going on this horse, Great House, coming back in distance. I thought it would have been going to 2400 by this stage, but... Um, Chris knows best, but a number of our questions will be answered um, by this race, and uh, I'm sure it'll be a talking point come Monday as well. I mm. oh, look for, for fair odds here, number one, all of a sudden, $18 for guaranteed leader, Jay Park, crossing from outside draw, a baker horse that you don't think can win. Yeah, yeah, I'd have to agree with that. Um, look, it'll be a good betting race because you'll have that school of thought. Obviously, the favourite has lots of fans, including Gord, one of his great, one of uh, the horse, this horse's greatest fans. Um, Welsh legend is, you know, established herself as uh, this level last preparation and um, gets Jay Mack here third up. Toscanini is a three-year-old of some potential. Picaro gets Nash. Crimson Ace is a wild card that, um, and the bottom two are obviously down in the weights. Uh, Mars is lightly raced off a win. Jungle Brook uh, is uh, Jay Collett um, just sneaking around there from a, a soft draw. So, yep. Betting it's a, ra sure. a race of interest and it should answer a few questions. Okay. Race two is uh, the first of the two year olds and what a motley crew it is. Uh, Robert Deera is a fixed odds firmer here um, into 370 and Jamea has had some support as well, but not looking like that on the, um, on the Betfair page there. So Robert Deere has more, had more matching than the, uh, than the favorite Arcaded who comes off a flop in the blue diamond, but had some form before that. Um, it does look tame this race. I mean, you remember the magic night always used to be full of two year old fillies desperately trying to get some black type or wild card into the slipper or whatever. Now we've got this bloody, um, just, 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 <laughs> it's just a bit, a bit embarrassing to look at this Phil. All right, uh, race three, uh, much more interesting Colts race where uh, ingratiating was in the finish of the blue diamond or the black diamond as you called it last night. Uh, Shakira attempting to resurrect Halal, um, third start, first prep. And um, the there's no real movers, fixed odds. Mm, it's a big tail too, Mark. Well, you say it's a tail. Um, you know, they're all relatively expensive horses, so uh, they're entitled to be here. Um, and yeah. we get, you'll get a good good line on the on the Black Diamond form. What are you saying race. to us about your boyfriend, Tiger of Malay? Uh, well, it's hard to back anything out of that race, isn't it? Mm. You know, the Silver Slipper is, is the worst Silver Slipper we've probably seen. Um, blinkers on. Uh, second up, but uh, I don't think there's been any depth to his debut win either. Um, so okay. I, I just I just sort of Rushed. passed. Oh, I've marked it fifteen dollars, fourteen yeah. to one. So we'll see. Um, George excited about Halal, wasn't he? Uh, only because I got excited. I think I think I sort of sealed him into it. Okay. I, I just I did get excited about 
uh, the fact that you had um, number six having its very first run at home and number one having its first run at home. And for two-year-olds, I'm always impressed by a, a return home. Um, race four is this Colette race, which uh, 10,000 match there at odds on. Not That's not a huge amount. Um, the Chosen One and Spirit Ridge have had fixed odds support. Mm. Um, so obviously the key to this race is track dry, Will that affect the favourite? Because the favourite's returned in sparkling form, gone really well. She hasn't seen 2,000 for a year. Um, so, I, you know, I don't know what that means. You can see those classic sort of horses um, not get the distance later on in their career. Um, and it is, she's 1,600 up to 2,000. So tiny question there, but obviously very, very well placed. Yeah, uh, easy race to win. Um, race... Five is the sprint. California Zimbals had fixed odd support, uh, three thousand match there, sitting at around the five to two mark. Wonder Bar on the drift, and Alberman Gord's horses had uh, support as well into thirteen dollars. Um, it's the Rose Hill Good Track eleven hundred meter horse. That's... Interesting amount match there on Wonder Bar, one hundred and fifty five dollars. Oh, yeah, no action as yet. Yeah, I think it'll be heading north, but um. Well, the other interesting thing about this race is you've got first favorite. Favorite is first up. Second favorite is first up. Third favorite is first up, um, which does lend itself to the um, you know, the specking for notably number six. Uh huh. Um, that was a race that you felt you had um, control of with two and five. Yep, five from two for me, and um. Yeah, I yeah, but then I'm a touch grade up after talking to you. Too. <laughs> that's, that's all right. First impressions are best. Um, to use a, a much a much used cliche. Uh, all right, this uh, this race here in Pecunius is on the drift uh, with G Boss aboard. Money for Hungry Heart and Poland. Um, I mentioned Hungry Heart last night on the previous show in reference to Winks, which perhaps is a bit unfair, but. Um, uh, Winx did, you know, this was Winx's resurre- resurrection race. She was she was struggling. She had four straight losses coming to this race. Mm. Um, you know, Hungry Hearts had a few more, but um, did have that similar profile through the spring. Well, I'm and sure then... you've excited the owners of Hungry Heart. Mark, anyway, with them, those thoughts. Yeah. Does the uh, Richard True Week uh, factor uh, um, come into play here as well, or just in the last with uh, uh, just, just, just Nudge? His name's in his name's in the book on nudge. So anyway, yeah, we turn right. it up, and then we move on. Yeah, it uh, look this race often looks like this uh, bit of Victorian form versus uh, local form that's struggling to hang in there. So an interesting clash, um, yeah. and and not a lot of pace in the race. So you're mm. relying on Gay to sort of get going here. Uh, the feature. Now, this is the best race in Australia today because uh, we'll look at the All-Star Mile at the end and it doesn't compare to this, which is uh, game on. And the favourite, Forbidden Love, is rock solid. Uh, you can't get $5 about her any more fixed odds. And um, 3,000 matched there on the fair. Um, All Saints Eve has had 1,500 matched. Um, clearly a horse of some interest. Yeah. And look, tons of good form. Well, Tons of good-looking form in this race. Interesting form lines clashing. And a three-year-old filly into this race with Nash on board off a freakish win two starts two weeks ago in the surround stakes. I can understand why all the hoo-ha is there. But you mentioned that uh, Crone was eye-taking and subpoenaed uh, is on song. And um, there are other places to look as well. I was particularly oh, well, is. number 10 rich hips. So. Yep. And I think and, Tenrid Chips has got a great chance too overnight, just redoing its form. A good race, Mark. Even oh, Emeralds could get into the finish here. It, it, look, it is a classic looking race. This is a, this is a cool more from the 80s, Glenn. I agree with that. Uh, when it used to be called the Rouser Rosemount Classic. Uh, and the best thing about it too is it's not a waller thon What's he got? Two runners. Madame yeah. Rouge, the Peanut. That's it. Which I think is great for racing. Indeed. All right, that's uh, that's a race to salivate over. The penultimate is the Ajax. In fact, it's not that race. Here it is. Um, and Creadera, Gord's boyfriend, is um, trying to 
How long was it since he won? He, he ran in the Golden Rose, the Villiers. It's, so he's, he's, his last win is four starts back. Um, Buffalo River is a spruce horse from uh, down south that uh, is designated leader here. Rock's an interesting resumer. And I am giving, looks like Elvis, um, a good hope here. I know he has failed, you know, he's, he's got all these nice looking runs and uh, has failed to convert over the sequence of runs he's had for uh, Jared Austin. But um, today, um, I'll be on. Um, any last minute thoughts here? I'm still interested in seven mark and I'm interested in the form away from create uh, away from think it over space. Yeah. But yeah. That could I change because I, I watch these horses parade and I might be unhappy with seven, six, five and say one, which I might. Yeah. I, I'm just, uh, I'm waiting to see him parade here. Um, the favorite here in drawn in gate one, that's quite uh, a bit of business there, given that the first favorite that's at five to four is at 10,000 matched and we get all the way down to uh, seven, eight o'clock, five o'clock. And we've had 7,100 matched on a horse that's nine to four. So that's uh, a bit of activity there. Um, I think the, the draw for this horse is terrible. Oh, it's terrible. It looks, looks terrible, but I mean, it's, you know, it, it is, it's, it is its race in the sense that it, it you know, it went, went well in the lead up and here it is, um, you know, off the break, a uh, second up off the break. Um, and the nightcap, money for Yadash, uh, not not on Betfair. In fact, there's nothing happening on Betfair. It's um, looks to be a bit of money for Grand Piano. Uh, not money for it, but looked like the one dollars score is not going to get. Yeah. Wow. Well, it, when John Thompson had it, it was a, a horse that you know was rock solid, wasn't it? Disappeared, went for a spell. You know, like not a coin for it first up, and uh, for for the new trainer, and then went for a spell again. So. It's a bit of a and race, the last. Mine has gone missing. Yeah, Star Spangled Radio there. Uh, Baker, last start winner at this track three weeks ago. Um, Zakat coming off the uh, Inglorious run last start as a short price favourite. And then you mentioned the um, the wild card of the uh, last start um, dead owner. Um, that's number nine, Nudge. Yes, the big the big <laughs> stewards. Uh, <laughs> the big writing change. No, what do we call it? Gear the, change. Gear, gear change. change. The gear change, yeah. Uh, oh, dear. I'm surprised there's less interest in uh, Lena's Hero, which was, uh, I think, black booked or uh, eye-catching out of uh, one of the lead-ups, which is the Zakat race. And this this horse, Bullfinch, has got me interested. It's uh, an import, obviously, a wide gate. I'm not sure what the tactics will be there. Uh, but it, I must say, it had good-looking form, and I liked its trial, but it... Um, um, We'll have to wait and see there. Well, first up, as have been going better, particularly the younger horses that, uh, you know, easy far, turning up off a break and just spread, e spread eagling them. Um, you know, we've had this idea that Walla first up is to be avoided, but, um, and not, probably. Not so much like that. Yeah, but it's probably a Saturday thing more than a Wednesday thing. Anyway, you're uh, going to show us this big race in Melbourne? Yeah, so uh, it is coming up. Here it is. So we've got uh, five to two probable seven to two Russian Camelot, seven to one Mugger two, um, and fourth pick there is the Dragon A, which is G Boss off for the first time. Willie Pike on. Uh, so it's had a freshen up off the first up run back to Mooney Valley, the scene, scene of its Cox Plate win, but it was on a slow track that day in the Cox Plate. I don't know whether it is a soft track or a wet track or not. You think the um, you think the Rose Hill race is better than this race. Oh, look at how ragged this race is. You've got uh, all these, you know. Pretty shitty good horses. Bits, shitty bits and bobs. Oh, they're good horses, but they're not good. They're, they're good horses like Russian Camelot's first up. Yeah. Um, Probability's coming off two runs at Caulfield. She she ran $10 in the Cox Plate. Um, and Mugger Hue 2. Huey Bowman rides Mugger 2. Yeah. Look, it's a lovely race for Mugger 2. He's kept it very fresh. I think fresh is very best for this horse and he was very competent in the cox plate um maybe he, want, he would want more jar out of the track but he's he's got a, a sydney run um coming into this race so that's that adds some spice so there it is i um, like the look of number one in that race guys I think 14 dollars. wow well you love g boss off any time yeah, it yeah. is a, it is a still a, it's a positive gear change in a positive riding change in a group one, isn't it? It does, doesn't matter that he turns up for group ones. It's it's always a positive riding change. 
the hot you're, race. You're, Looking forward to a great day's racing, man. We're going to have G-Boss on the line soon here going, why are you always bagging? Why are you guys always bagging me? It's just, you know, we're, 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 uh, we, we give opinions, unlike the rest of the media. Um, you won't find opinions anywhere else. I mean, you'll find horses, people tipping racehorses, but they won't be bagging racehorses or bagging jockeys or saying, I don't like this. I think this is no good. Uh, but you'll get plenty of that at Racing Rat. We're the only place that does it. So you'd be mad yeah. to be part of our, uh, part of our journey. Uh, we also have a good bookie on and the, board. The only, the only time you see the other journalists at Stewart's Inquiries when they're there taking notes about me. <laughs> if, we can, if we can get them there. There was obviously no lunch on offer yesterday, Glenn, so couldn't yeah, get a journo there. Couldn't get a journo. Uh, Dave Dwyer, he's uh, money back on second or third in all group ones. So Coolmore today is a group one. So you get money back for second or third in bonus bets up to $50. Uh, good man, David Dwyer. If you put 500, open an account with him, put 500 in, he will pay four weeks worth of rant sub for you. Fantastic offer. All right. So uh, as I mentioned, you'd be crazy not to be part of our community because uh, it's the only place you can share, interact, and uh, more importantly, hear it as it is and rant so, <laughs> come on board as i mentioned the first two weeks are free there's no obligation hope you have a good day at rose hill today we'll be uh, back on monday for a, a look with at this rose hill card uh, with paul daly so lots of um, figures underlying what we saw and uh, hopefully we've got some good stories to tell catch you then see ya <laughs>